Brought to you by GTA, your island, your network. Gardeners and landscapers, you could be getting more than you paid for in your bags of store-bought soil. We've had lots of reports of people finding grubs in their bags of soil at home, but it's only recently that we've actually been able to find out that um, some of our hardware stores are selling bags of soil that are already pre-populated with grubs. According to entomologist Dr. Aubrey Moore, a visit to a local hardware store proved that many unopened bags of soil were infested with grubs, also known as baby coconut rhinoceros beetle. Grubs feed on soil. If allowed to mature to adult beetles, their appetites for Guam's beloved coconut trees are deadly. It's quite possible that um, during the early days after the rhino beetle arrived that it was accidentally spread in this fashion. We call this a pathway. And now we know that that pathway exists for sure. We suspected that it did exist before, but now we have proof. Dr. Moore says the affected store-bought bags were kept outside, leaving them vulnerable to the rhino beetle who bore holes through the plastic. All of our soil is manufactured in the States and it's, it's imported here. And you know a lot of the hardware stores store this stuff outside. So if it's outside for long enough, uh, the rhino beetles will find it and uh, lay some eggs in it. Those eggs will hatch and uh, by the time you get it home, you'll have nice big grubs in it. So what can you do? If you garden at home, he recommends you leave the bags of soil indoors or cover them with Tekken netting, the same material you can use to protect your home's coconut trees and green waste. The recommendation these days is um, you cover your bags of soil or your um, compost pile with the Tekken netting. I'm sure most people on Guam have heard of this discovery that if you have the right kind of fish netting called Tekken, um, if it's just the right size, the beetles can't get through it. They, they try to go through it and they get caught just like a fish gets caught in a gill net. Dr. Moore adds that Guam law relative to soil imports hasn't been enforced. Local law states soil can only be brought in in limited quantities for experimental or other scientific purposes. For more information on the coconut rhinoceros beetle, call 735-2080. Brought to you by GTA, your island, your network.